Good morning, guys. It's uh, this is gonna be the eighth video in the February daily uh, video uh, vlog. You know, every day videos for February. Um, first thing I'm gonna do this morning is uh, I was gonna take this front end apart, but I think I'm just going to move it together. I want to keep it together so I can kind of keep an idea about how all the parts fit um, so far as with, you know, I mean, it's not that complicated, but, you know, I still kind of want to keep it all in one piece. So I'm just going to move it as a whole. I'm going to take and move the car uh, up as far against the toolbox as I can. Uh, and then I'm going to run over to uh, the club founder's house and we got the look at his trailer he's trying to get ready for uh mini nats and we're putting doing a removable uh left side fender on his trailer so you know any of you lowrider guys will understand how hard it is to stick uh um a fender on a trailer so i'm gonna get this stuff moved around uh and try to get him to get over here and help me move this front clip and we'll go check his trailer out and see what we got to have to make that happen and then i'm gonna get in here and work for a little while today i hope so i'll see y'all in a little bit all right guys so this is what i got going on uh kind of planning on and the reason why i want to go with power steering is uh because i'm gonna end up doing power brakes but since I don't want to do away with the vent um, there's really not enough room for a booster over here and the I think you can get a seven inch booster underneath the floor in the factory location but then the car is going to be low so I want to keep all the brake components above the level of the frame because uh, eventually one day i expect this car is probably going to be bagged and be able to uh you know lay out pretty low that's what i'm going for um it, to start with it's going to be uh it's going to be uh you know statically low and then eventually when i get all the bugs worked out of the car make sure the wiring's right put some miles on it make sure there's no problem with the motor the transmission the rear end and all that then i'll worry about swapping in the air on it but i do want to dry, drive it just statically low for a while and you know it may be where i don't ever bag it so um what i got here is this is like a i think it's a 2001 like 99 2001 that kind of era uh jeep yj power steering box it's one that mounts in front of the axle on a on a on like a jeep che grand cherokee or something or cherokee like a super late model not the uh not the um uh not the old school square one but the newer model one and uh it's supposed to fit my only uh problem is i think that the frame is going to have to be notched out in this area for it to fit and uh you know we're gonna have to get the angle right but it looks like i mean probably even the stock pitman arm will probably work um it's not going to work with the stock shaft but we will have to, <coughs> you, you know, <coughs> excuse me, modify the shaft because I'm thinking I'm just going to do away with the three on the tree stuff and use the stock uh, steering. Of course, there's no uh, turn signal switch, so we'll have to add a t aftermarket turn signal switch to it. So, uh, that's just kind of like a mock-up that's something coming up so i think what i'm going to do i'm going to go and jack the front end of this thing up pull the wheels off of it and uh i want to start 
uh, I want to start mocking up the flipped uprights and I've got a set of uh, of Airstar coils which should give the front a uh, three inch uh, about a four inch drop uh, when the engine's back in it and I want to get all the weight mocked up on it to see what the ride height's going to be so I can start figuring out about the rear and there'll be more on that later so let me get started tearing this apart all right guys there's a couple of ways to uh, drop these old shoebox Fords um, uh, one of which is you take the uh, the upright and you flip it but then you have to you have to bend it you have to heat this section and bend it um, a specific amount to get it to go back on uh, I opted to buy a set of flipped uprights uh, they come from shoebox central that gives you a two inch drop uh, supposedly you can supposedly you can uh, and I'll have a set of Aerostar van coils that I'm going to put in the front that's supposed to give you two more so that should give me a total of a four inch drop in the front um, something else you can do you can take and uh, cut these rivets out of the lower pan and drop that a specific amount and that'll you know supposedly give you a stock ride quality with a lowered stance you know that's an old school method um but uh anyway that's just a i you know like i said i've read a bunch about it um they uh make kits where you can replace the a-arms with more modern ball joints and stuff like that and i decided that this is the way that i wanted to go if you'll notice the drum has already gone off of this side it was locked up I ended up having to take uh, the locating pin out and pull the whole assembly off of the car and the shoes were still locked up inside the drum after I got everything off so I just put the uh, hub back on and uh, <clears throat> did away with uh, you know did away with the brakes because you know obviously we don't need them so it looks like um, I tried to do this before uh, and it, the motor was in it and you could jack up the suspension so I don't know if I could jack it up and get the pin out or I never got the pin out and that's the reason why I couldn't get the top joint loose so what I'm gonna have to do is see if I can't get it at a different angle you know get further out here and get it but I, without the weight of the motor I don't think that I'm gonna get any of the load off of the suspension that's uh gonna be fun so um as soon as i figure that out i'll come back i'm gonna go on and try to get the shock out to begin with uh, and do away with it um and like i said i'll come back all right guys this is the carnage so far uh i knew that this was going to be uh hard to get apart because i've tried i tried to take these bolts out before um i actually put the bottom castellated nut on tapped it like twice and if you look right there <laughs> the nut broke in half so i'm gonna get on the uh forms and see if uh i can't see why these shouldn't just slide out why these bolts shouldn't just slide out uh, those locking bolts only lock the cams in the um top and the bottom they don't they're not far enough to lock the they don't go far enough to lock those bolts in so i think they're just uh seized i mean you know the car's 70 years old 72 years old this year so um and then i was checking the joints i mean i had intent intended on rebuilding this front end anyway um i didn't want to do it right now all i want to do is get stuff mocked up and start you know because everything's going to have to be torn back apart cleaned up and painted so uh yeah let me study this out a little bit 
and we'll figure something out. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll try to tear down the other side. Um, what I think I'm probably going to end up having to do is just drop the bottom control arms. Look at that rust, man. She is mint. Yes, sir. I'm going to have to cut out a bunch of that and replace it. So, yeah, this car ain't in that great of shape. I mean, it's in good shape, but, you know, <laughs> she's rough. So, um, anyway, got to love it. So, um, yeah, let me get that figured out what I'm going to do next because I'm probably going to have to put some heat on those bolts and I don't know if you can see it but the bottom bolt there is the hole is wore out in that frame so I'm going to have to repair that too so um because it's evidently it locked up and then the bolt started twisting in there so I mean that stuff's got to be replaced anyway so anyway uh that's gonna be it for today i'm gonna go and enjoy the rest of the day off before going back to work next week um actually you know what let me uh run grab the uh uh air star springs and co compare them to uh the stock springs and i'll be right back okay guys i wanted to get these springs out uh i don't think you can tell really much how they're standing all right, now there you go. That ought to help, maybe. Um, so this spring right here is from a two-wheel drive Aerostar, and this one is from a four-wheel drive Aerostar. I didn't realize that they would be different. Um, and when I went to pull the passenger side on the four-wheel drive, it was broken. So I had to start looking for another one and found a two-wheel drive and found out that the springs are actually different. So the coils are tighter on the four-wheel drive to clear the CV axle and they're also taller and heavier. So you don't want those. And that spring is at least two inches shorter than the stock spring. <laughs> so yeah, I have a feeling we're going to see at least four inches of drop on the front of this thing. Uh, static which is you know which is fine with me uh that's where i want to go you know just to start with um and since i'm doing away with the coil pockets uh, because if i ever put bags in it you won't be able to, i mean the shock pockets you won't be able to put shocks in the middle of it i'm going to build a shock mount that runs from the lower a-frame up to the chassis up here but to clear i'm gonna have to notch into the chassis to make it clear and uh we're gonna uh do that probably with a section of pipe uh, like i said guys this car is you know it looks good it's got i mean it's the body straight and it's got a lot of the parts still with it but she's in rough shape um, matter of fact, I don't know if you can see down in there, but that's the reason why I'm going ahead and doing all this work instead of just trying to get it on the road and driving is uh, the body mounts are rotted out and the body's sagging really bad. So <clears throat> anyway, like I said, that's it for today. Um, you know, like and subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow, probably tear down the other side probably finish tearing this apart see if i can't get those uh backing plates and because on the drop uprights you have to take the um you have to take the spindle out and swap it over to the drop upright you know it's not like a drop spindle on a newer car you have to use the spindle over so um i'm probably what i'm going to do is go ahead and pull those arms off get it stripped down as much as I can without you know getting it actually took apart and get it to where I can manage it and get it over in the press and try to press those bolts out uh, first of all I need to see if they're available in case I you know you know decide to catch hell and <laughs> destroy the bolts so thank y'all for watching and I'll uh, see you later